Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 3rd to the 9th of May 2021. I hope you're well Aries, let's get straight into your reading. I'm using mainly tarot cards this week, starting with the tarot grand lux for the overarching energy and we'll pull a fairy oracle card at the end. So what do we have for Aries, please, for the week? Starting with the overarching energy for Aries. Overarching energy for Aries, please. 3rd to the 9th of May, 2021, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for a lovely Aries, thank you. Message for Aries, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> I do like this energy. The Three of Cups. Okay, Aries. So I'm going to pull three cards as usual, you know by now. And then we clarify, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Aries, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Aries for the week. 3rd to the 9th of May, 2021, please. Card has fallen out. Two cards. And this is the challenge position. So we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. High Priestess Energy is advice from spirit and your outcome. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, Aries, we'll clarify, go deeper into the message. So what do we have for Aries, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Can we clarify the cards on the table? For 3rd to the 9th of May, 2021, please. <clears throat> what do we have for Aries? Thank you. One more shuffle. Okay. Starting with the challenge position of the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. I've got the sun. Very nice energy, Aries. The High Priestess. We have the Six of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles, Aries. We have Temperance. Bottom of the deck. We have the Death card. So we have the Three of Cups can be communication energy and we do have some communication in this reading there could be some communication that you're getting this week a message communication a conversation here it feels in this energy very beautiful because this is a celebratory energy this is a card of celebration reasons to celebrate um It just feels very, very beautiful, Aries. Yeah, so it, it feels in this situation something is uplifting you this week. Now, the sun, interestingly enough, is about things are about to get better. And that's what you're being told, you know, it's about stepping into your light. Good news, celebration, joy, happiness. Um, but you see the child comes through that brick wall, you know, so there has been something to release, to let go of, to put behind you. But the sunflowers represent abundance, finding the path that you're meant to be on, stepping into your power, feel good energy, things beginning to happen. So if you've experienced delays or experienced some kind of obstacle to overcome and it feels that's what this challenge is representing things are about to get better there's such positivity around you the sun is a card of success um and it's it's a great energy of awakening to your true potential as well you know the sun it's a great awakening energy from within 
you know, you've learnt lessons in overcoming certain challenges and there is positivity coming your way. And that's what I'm feeling here because the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, this can be an opportunity, a golden opportunity that is being offered to you. Now, this can be in terms of uh, money, career, business, a new beginning in terms of money, career, business, moving or relocating. So certainly for some of you, there could be good news in terms of it feels more money in Korea. Um, but like I said, uh, that could be linked with some kind of movement as well, moving, relocating. The Knight of Swords, it, there's definitely some kind of conversation or news that is opening a new door. And it might well be there has been some challenge to overcome or some delays things not happening as quickly as you wanted them to. And now that energy of the sun is just, it's happening. There is life, there is vitality. Things are growing, things are happening. Um, very lovely energy areas indeed. So a new door is opening and it's in your conscious reality, which is the pentacles energy. So definitely it feels very good in terms of some kind of offer coming your way. The High Priestess is, is a wonderful energy here, Aries, because, you know, even in the challenging times, you intuitively know that you're being watched over and guided. And that's just represented by the sun and the hand of God offering you this opportunity, guiding you, giving you a helping hand. Um, so certainly in the advice from spirit, this is intuitively, you know where to put your energy in time. But the Six of Pentacles can be a card of it's your time to receive. And now it can be somebody reaching out to you, uh, offering help, advice, can be reaching out for a specific reason, maybe to do with this opportunity. And the Six of Pentacles is not an abundant energy. It's, it's a card that comes after the Five of Pentacles where we feel lack and sufficiency. So when we get to the Six of Pentacles, it's about making do. It can be about charity. Um, accepting help, charity, uh, parents, you know, taking money from other people to make ends meet. It can be that kind of energy. Um, but it is an energy of the divine energy here with the high priestess saying it's your time to receive. You will get what you need. Now, what we need isn't always what we want, but there's definitely an energy with this. It's your time to receive. So it feels really beautiful. And that's what you're being told by spirit. Everything will become clear because sometimes with the high priestess, there's a little bit of a lack of clarity. Things are revealed in the fullness of time. And it feels for some of you, something is going to be revealed because everything becomes clear with that sum. It feels you have been trying to get balance back in your life. You've needed a lot of patience. Yeah. And it's to find the way through to the new horizons, to a new journey starting for you, um, to restore balance in your life. You know, uh, it just feels like you've been trying to adapt after some kind of ending. Um, and it, it feels the period of, of needing to adapt of how you move forward now is coming to a close because there is definitely abundance coming your way, reasons to celebrate. Um, so it feels like the period of, of trial, of maybe just about getting by, is it feels it's coming to a close. You are the phoenix rising. This is something ends, but something new begins with the sun, with, with the death card. Um, the death card is the phoenix rising. The phoenix rises from the ashes of the old because it releases the old in order to embrace the new. And it's interesting because you can see that sun rising here. And in the challenge position, you've also got the sun here as well. Things are emerging. Things are beginning to get better. There is a new day of positivity coming your way. And that's what you're being told. So... There's definitely an energy of just finding the way through, adapting here and um, getting your balance, moving on. But it definitely feels like what you're doing is moving towards the Nine of Pentacles, which is an abundant energy. This is somebody who has worked hard to achieve 
those nine pentacles. They have put their energy in the right direction. They are focused. They have worked hard. They have used their practical skills, knowledge and experience to deliver success. So for some of you, it definitely feels in this energy there is success. And it's interesting because you see what I'm seeing in this card. It's interesting, isn't it? When you see the cards, uh, you see that path. If you, I'm definitely getting this new path is, is opening up for you. You know, how you're moving forward, releasing some kind of ending and moving towards new abundance. Uh, this could involve more money. This could be being more financially secure, uh, financially stable. There's also a feeling of self-sufficiency with this. So if you have, um, you know, I mean, sometimes this can be about loans or, you know, um, getting some good news on a loan to start a business. You know, if you've been doing that, there's definitely an energy of success. You know, this is an entrepreneurial energy as well. Somebody who can create their own success on their own using their own skills and experience, you know, and you do that very well, Aries. So whatever it means for you, could be a job, could be a business opportunity, but it definitely feels in this situation, there is greater abundance coming your way. Having gone through some, I'm feeling some struggle with abundance, um, but it's definitely things are beginning to happen. So it feels any delays, any obstacles that you needed to overcome you're putting it behind you it's out with the old and with the new this week and there is absolutely some celebration coming your way yeah now this can also be communication leading to celebration as well so it feels a very very beautiful energy so i'm going to pull you a final card aries final message for aries thank you three cards there but let's go with it they come out for a reason yeah I mean you know cards are saying the same thing new beginnings so we have this fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby and you know this is definitely an energy of this is the opportunity for me um I can finally see the light you know at the end of the tunnel it's definitely that kind of energy it's interesting when we were talking about balance isn't it there's patience but balance is being restored by your actions so we have find balance between your work rest play time and you will have more energy harmony productivity in your life take a power nap yeah and motivation when spring approaches the flower fairies urge you to spring into action if there's something you've been merely thinking about doing they say get busy and do it if you've lacked motivation here aries possibly because you might have been tested in terms of patience or delays um, this is about don't stop absolutely keep taking action because there's reward at the end of this journey i can tell you so lovely reading aries i hope you enjoyed it if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful week for you all and i will see you next time thank you